best bakery in Shipswani. Where? Uh, don't do that to me. <laughs> design tour. They were really surprised when I told them about it. Greg said he's told them about it. But the person <laughs> I talked to was thought it was phenomenal. Let's talk about the grand design tour. tour. Yes. We couldn't take pictures and we couldn't take video. So um, you're just gonna have to listen to us. Yeah there might be a couple things I was able to shoot real real quick before I knew we were told no no no. right now we're going to the factory tour at Grand Design to see how the Imagine is made how exciting is that do you think we're gonna be on this by ourselves this tour you have no idea I have no idea <laughs> everything is a surprise <laughs> we've got to check in and get our safety vests we're really keeping our fingers crossed that we're gonna be able to get some of this on video because we've been told that that's not going to happen, but that there's a slight chance it could kind of depends. But here we go. We've got our fancy vests on and we are following this white truck over here. We're going to go to the Imagine plant and start the tour. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four other couples, three or four other couples that we're gonna do this with. So it's kind of fun. We were talking to the one couple, they have the 2600 RB. Um, they've had it, it's a 2021. And um, they, they love their trailer. All right, well, this is gonna be, this will be interesting. I wanna show your back here. Woo, grand design. We're going to the Transcend. There's a couple that was on our tour that wants to buy a Transcend, possibly, maybe an Imagine. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the Transcend tour too, real quick. Um, why not? <laughs> it's free. Uh, but we'll be back and share some things that we learned with you guys. You know, you never know who you meet when you're out on the road. And we met some people that own a reflection that has had problems with the refrigerators. And uh, Greg here had told us about a place called JC Refrigeration. Is that correct? Yes. And they're here in, how do you say that? Shipshawana. Shipshawana. <laughs> and uh, they take the guts out of the back of your existing refrigerator and then put a 12 volt refrigerator in the back of it, of your existing refrigerator. He just came back. He said it took less than an hour and a hour half. And a half. Hour and a half to do no. it. He has a 12 volt and he has the latest and the bestest because he's got two <laughs> compressors. Is that correct? Yes. And it runs on 12 volts. Yes. And do, so do you know how many watts now this thing takes or is that hard to say? But he told me, I want to say seven to nine. Yeah, that's about right. About eight is what I, is what I heard. Eight watts is what I heard. So, okay. so that's, that's great news. Um, so we went to our Grand Design Tour. They were really surprised when I told them about it. Greg says he's told them about it. <laughs> but the person I talked to was thought it was phenomenal mm -hmm. because all of the new Grand Designs now come with the new Furion 12 volt refrigerators, which were really impressive in itself. However, um, if you like the four door refrigerator, in your reflection which i do this is a new option uh, it, would you mind sharing uh, how much that cost uh, how much the unit costs they had to run an extra wire for 12 volt because you have to have 10 gauge okay 
and that was a couple hundred dollars more and installed sales tax it came out to around 1900 1900 bucks yeah to convert for what your existing refrigerator to a 12 volt system mm -hmm. and, and so it's a do-it-yourself system if you want to do it yourself. Okay, so I watched that video <laughs> to tell me about, um, what is it, Markin on the Move? Or yeah, Morton's. Morton on the Move? Yeah. I would not attempt that. Oh. When I saw him do what he did, no, yeah. no, no, no. I would pay whatever the labor is. The only drawback is you got to come all the way to ship, sh uh, ship Shawana. So it's worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> but look at this. And listen how quiet it is. Go grab that thermometer that's in there. So he said it's, uh, you, you've only had it on for how long? It was down to 10 below by the time I got back here. 10 below. In the freezer. So that we're straight, no more gas, no more electricity. It runs on your 12 volt battery. Mm -hmm. And um, you're not, at this point, you don't have a trickle, uh, solar charger what grand design is doing now to most of their units is they have a trickle charger up on top of their roof um, which puts out 130 watts i guess of trickle charge I, i'm not sure i might be wrong about that but all it does it trickle charges the battery um, to sustain it for a long term and on a cloudy day it's not going to help you um, you're probably still going to need it to have a generator uh, or something like that so Okay, we we're got some proof here. 17 below in the freezer. Wow. 17 below in the freezer, and the refrigerator is at what, 33? Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. One's at the top shelf and one's at the bottom shelf. And how long did that take? By the time we got back here. So uh, that's five miles away. Yeah. So there you go. Well, now you got to go shopping and get some, go to that Yoder's meat and cheese and go get we some did. meat. <laughs> you already got it? We <laughs> bought eggs, bacon, and butter. Good. And um, you to fill the freezer too. Well, we bought somewhere else the muffin <laughs> bread. Oh, and rise and sh rise and shine or something? Uh, or? No, uh, gate, new gate, oh, bakery. I, oh gosh, every corner, every has something we gotta <laughs> well, stop and get. But yeah. it's our last morning in well, Shipshawana, Middlebury. Middlebury, Elkhart County. We'll put it that way. The um, RV capital of the world. Yeah. Oh boy. It's been a blast. I, I feel like we probably could have stayed another week and just had like, you know, things to continue to do, but time to go, time to move on. Um, but before we go, we're going into the Rise and Roll Bakery. Comes highly recommended by our friend Karen Green. Call our friend because I feel like we we're friends. We had good lunch with Karen yesterday, who works for Grand Design. Um, just a neat, neat gal. But she says you gotta go get the crack donuts. She says that's what the locals call them. So we're going in for breakfast. It's gonna hopefully sustain us for the rest of the day. <laughs> maybe cinnamon rolls, maybe donuts. <laughs> we're just gonna wreck it. We don't eat like this, so I'm excited. But I know there's a stomachache coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> With the apple filling. Oh, we've been told from a very good source that this is the best bakery yeah. in the land. So it's caramel something. Oh my gosh, it's a big bite. <laughs> this is going to get me in trouble. Yeah, this is amazing. What do you mm. think? Oh. Oh, and then for later. Oh, we are officially on the road to the Indianapolis area. Yeah, we're we're, we're headed to some friends, uh, lifelong friends again. Mm -hmm. um, again, people who used to sing in church with us. Yes, um, yeah. On our worship team. Many so years ago. Many many years ago, and and lived across the street from us, and. Yep that had lived in the house that we'd lived in. And so anyway, our kids were little together. They're special people. Special very, people. very special yeah, people. We love and them. people that we have we to see. Them. Yeah, so we're making the effort and heading down there and we're gonna have dinner with them tomorrow, at, uh, a couple nights in a row actually. Let's talk a little bit about the KOA in Middlebury where we stayed. We had a nice day. It was very well located Yes. to it, where we needed to be. Yeah. Because it was only two miles um, to the Grand Design factory and corporate office. Yeah, right. So we were able to do our tour because that was one of the things, and we are going to talk about that. Um, what an experience. Um, we were basically three miles away from the Michigan uh, state line, and we did go and visit Michigan. So we've been to Michigan. So the KOA, it was sufficient. Were you a little surprised? Um, when you arrived, did you have like a little bit more, a higher expectation, well, I think is what I'm trying to say, uh, because of the location of it, because of being in the RV capital of the world. I was very disappointed, but I, I, I don't want to be on this negative train, but I was disappointed in that particular KOA. Yeah. Uh, being the fact that is to the uh, world capital of RVs. Yeah. And that KOA should be a flagship. It, you're right. And and and, and it's not. Uh, yeah. Simply said. So I, when you go, it's a great place to stay. It's fine. Very good location. The location is perfect. Don't expect anything else except a level campsite, great water pressure, great Wi-Fi. Um, all the necessities we needed to stay there was good. Let's talk about the Grand Design Tour. Tour. Yes, and, and I think we need to apologize because we're not going to have a lot of footage. You're just going to have to listen to us. Yeah, there might be a couple things I was able to shoot real, real quick before I knew we were told no, no, no. But um, anyhow, but yeah, you can listen to us. <laughs> see what we've discovered. So we got to see, we our Imagine. tour was specific to Imagine, and yeah. that's what we want to do. Because I had a lot of questions, and I, I really wanted to see how they were built. And because of you guys who come and comment and with some of your displeasures, um, I wanted to see what was going on. And, I, and I've been very much enlightened. Um, the, the factory is incredible. Oh. The way they put Organized. Grand Design together, top notch, incredible what was interesting to me is when we first walked in and i saw this schedule like for you know day by day and it, it said 2970 rl uh, on the day we were there and then i think the next day was going to be 2500 rl one day they they focus all on one particular model so the day we were there was all 2970 rls and they will produce 15 in a day yeah. we we got to see how they were built how they were made the sidewalls how they glue them together um, the chassis I've learned so much about the RV industry and if you are thinking about buying an RV and it's going to be an investment for you so like when I'm what I'm about to say if you decide that you're gonna pay a hundred thousand dollars for an RV. To me, that's an investment. Um, you want to make sure you know where your money is going and it'd be worth your while 
to come to the world's capital of RV building. And do a tour, maybe before. And do a tour because before. One of the couples was in there, mm -hmm. had not bought one yet, and was making a decision between an Imagine and a Transcend. I, I did not know when I bought our RV that everything but everything comes from Elkhart, Middlebury, Indiana. I did not know that. All the parts, huh? All the parts. Everything. You know, Furion, well, news, newsflash, Lippert bought out Furion. So now that's a newsflash, and maybe you guys already knew about that. But a lot of the upgrades that we have been doing to our RV, I don't know who they've been listening to, but they're in the new RVs, the brand new ones. The faucet, the new, the faucet. They have the same faucet that we have on now. You know? The handles. The handles. Change the handles. Changing the handles. They have listened to you and now they are putting uh, the Goodyear Endurances on. Wow. So on the on the Imagine. So they're they're putting 12 volt refrigerators in with a trickle charge solar panel already on the roof. How neat is that? Um, I was I really wanted to see how well insulated the Imagines were for my mo well, my own ed edification. The insulation is in the floor, and then they put that me uh, membrane up, which is also acts as a um, An insulator. Type. Insulator. Yeah. And then in the winter, there's hoses, two-inch hoses that blow heat in into the underbelly. Mm -hmm. We learned that yesterday. We right? learned that yesterday, yeah. and I did not know that. Yeah. And, you know... So we use our electric heater, and it keeps us toasty, but we didn't realize that if we don't put the heater on a little bit, then that underbelly is not getting heated. So kind of is going to change we're, the way a little we're, bit. Word for wise, if you're going to some place where it's really super, super cold, Make sure you run your heater so that underbelly is getting warm. So, um, the other thing we learned is remember we came to you and we told you that we were having an issue with our heater? Yes. Rhonda caught, caught wind of that. My ears perked up and he's, well, because they're not using the Furion air conditioners anymore, they're Dometic. They're going to back to the Dometic. And he made a comment, our tour guide, made a comment that there was something going on with the Furion and the heater the heat, with the heater and so they changed out but he says there's a relo sensor relocation kit available for free if you call your dealer's service department right they will send you one but that's another thing we learned there is an absolute disconnect in dealer communication with manufacturer. All right, so uh, just a word to the wise, and this is just Stanley and Rhonda talking. Uh, don't always believe what your dealer is telling you because it may not be true. I'm sorry to say. Okay? Yeah, but well, you got to be your own ambassador for, you know. And, and, you and have got to be your, your own ambassador yeah. and do your own research and. And you got, you know the old saying, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. If you're not getting that done, or if you're calling a, a grand design person and you guys are not clicking, go to another one. Make sure you write people's names down. Go to another one. Because the people that we talk to, and we are nobody, we're absolutely phenomenal professionals. We saw how the roof was built. We saw the insulation. Uh, I was impressed with that. The fact that we can walk on our roof. It's a walkable roof. Yeah. Uh, the fact that... Because it's wood frame, right? It, is that what you said? Right. The, the roof is, is trusses, basically. Yeah, and that's why they do it. Because it's a little more flexible for the... When, when you're traveling, it gives a little more give, but also for the, the ability to walk on it. And they said you can walk on your slide. Did you know that? Yes. You did know that? I did know that. And where do you think your RV came from? When you're buying it in California or Florida or or wherever you think you're buying it, where do you think it's... And how do you think it's getting getting there? Yeah. Well, it's we getting, saw... We, 
We saw firsthand how, oh my goodness. We didn't see any RVers. Not very many. Not very many. On the road. But we saw a lot of RVs. <laughs> we're the only one that traveled. The ones that, the RVs that we do see on the road are being delivered by a pickup truck. Yeah, like they have their license, I guess, with the U.S. Department of Transportation as private carriers, and they're just, I mean, every other car or truck or every F brand and everything. Every, and it's fascinating. And Enormity. It, it just keeps going, and so RV industry there is is mind blowing. I brought up the fact that we did the Moride suspension, and one gentleman said, "Well, um, Lippert makes the our suspension. Should we go with their?" their equalizer and it was discussed in a way that we basically put the right suspension on so uh, even from our the guy who's doing the tour Brandon he says no you want to go with more right of course nobody wants to recommend anything because if anything goes wrong you know oh you said this you said that you right. need to do your own research but I feel confident now that we put the right suspension. It is the suspension that they're putting on the new reflection. Um, so I'm very confident and he was, actually our tour guide was very excited about the fact that I changed it out. And you need to realize, as we had said before, if you're just gonna take it for weekends here, maybe twice a year, don't do the suspension, no reason to. But if you're traveling like we are, definitely do the suspension. This is how your trailers are being delivered. That's the wolf pup, yeah. That trucker doesn't know if that little wolf puff is gonna go in a ditch or in a pothole. He has no clue. <coughs> and this is why it's important you get your, when you take delivery of your RV, you get it inspected. The factories are so clean. I, I, they truly, truly were. The, I mean, we went into the Transcend and we went into the um, into the Imagine. And I, and I, so if you can imagine, I mean, this place is massive. We all, anyway, it, it just, and they have one team that works on the frame and starts putting in the, the tanks and the underbelly, all that. Then they like flip it over somehow, right? Then the yep. flooring goes on. And then they build it from the, basically the inside out. Then they put the cabinets in and then they, I mean, of course, the electrical's going in all that stuff, but, and then it just goes along this huge, uh, slider I guess and they, they can just push the whole unit and it just goes down to the next group of folks they have their specialty they're putting in the you know screwing in the cabinets and then goes down to the next folks and that they're doing their specialty or whatever's next and it gets all the way down the line to the end and then you know the walls are going on and the doors are going in and the windows and the and it's just then it has an inspection and then it's just it's just incredible to see. I, I think I would have liked to have actually seen it in action. Wouldn't that have been fun? Kind of to yeah. see all the hands on, but I, I, I that's So, not. we had a little laugh because we talked about the shakedown. You all know about the shakedown, the yeah. dust that just keeps coming. And the that, gift that keeps on giving. The gift that keeps on giving. And he laughs, he goes, that's shakedown. Yeah. You haven't had an RV unless you have shakedown. He goes, we could probably do a better job at that. But it was a lot of fun. It was enjoyable. It took about an hour, I would say. Then we went over to the Transcend, which wasn't in the plan, but super easy. And I would just definitely highly recommend doing that. And, of course, they have for reflection. They have for momentum. They have, I forget how many acres he said that they own. And they're building a new momentum plant. It's, it's an absolute sea of RVs. Sea of RVs. And, and grand design is... Warehouses it, and is everywhere okay we did sh want to share something and so there is that campground there and it's for customers of grand design technically it's for if you're getting repair work done you need to come early you need to stay but we were told yesterday like it's for customers of grand design you could come in and use that campground I, I'm not sure what it really had. I didn't really investigate it. Yeah, I got some I, I know it does. I know it doesn't have sewer, but it definitely has electricity, and I'm not sure if, if it has water. Yeah. So, so you could call. It's it's right. You could call the corporate office. It's right there. 
And if you were coming into town and you wanted to do a tour and you just wanted to stay a night or two, you could stay right there. It's got green, green grass and concrete patio. So, so after that, we went over to customer service. We asked about a refrigerator handle. Oh. Um, they didn't have one in stock. They had to create, well, it has to code like documentation, of course. So we had to have an email uh, and then fill out papers and then send pictures. And so our gal, she was the regional sales manager, Jennifer, yep. at uh, the headquarters there. And she was phenomenal and so helpful. Shout out to Jennifer. Yeah, fantastic. Professional. Yeah, just, just like family just like family I, I don't know how else to describe it and she just heard us and no problem yep boom, 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 boom. so while I was there I picked up transcend new pamphlet our son's looking at the transcend so that's what was really fun for us to go look at the um, the transcend because they call it an entry level but I think it's just your standard they build them a little bit different than the than the imagines um, but because it's all framed it's right? all wood it's all frame. All wood frame. The the walls and the ceilings the same or the yeah. I did not know that our panels were aluminum. Did you? And if you did, let me know. But our trusses are wood, but our side panels are aluminum and laminated. To well, be yeah. That's what it says right here. Fully laminated walls. Um, and they do put a pressure on them. They put, they, I wanted to say he said 90,000 pounds of pressure or something. And it presses them down and it just, just seals everything. And uh, So there's no problems with delamination. For those of you who've had issues with your grand design, number one, I'm sorry. Um, how yours became a lemon, I, I can't answer that if you have a lemon. But I think Grand Design stands by their products. And I think it's important to be said that we're not affiliated with Grand Design at all or anything. We just own a Grand Design. We are owners and we're believers. It is up to you to do your own, own research, your own, your, especially your own inspections. And if you're not getting what you need get done, um, don't think for one second that it stops there. Frustration can be, I've heard, you know, the frustration of grand design is not, but where are you getting that from? Where are you getting that message from? Mm. Um, because the message that we got while we were there is they were super helpful. And it may behoove you to take a trip. That's right. And check it out for yourself. Because I am a believer. I am 100% believer in Grand Design and, and what they stand for and how they're building their things. And just remember, it's still a home on wheels. It's a little home on wheels. It still shakes like an earthquake every time you go down the, down the road. Yes, things go wrong, but I'm sure they're going to make it right. So if they're not making it right at the dealer, then you need to pick up that phone and you need to talk to some live person in customer service at Grand Design. Well said. All right. I think All right. We, well, thanks for listening to us kind of yeah. ramble on, but it was a lot to process and a lot to um, take in and uh, just we wanted to share. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we're real. This is who we are. Um, and if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. And like Rhonda said, if you, if you, if you don't like what we got, click the thumbs down twice um, that would be good too and then ring the bell to get notified there you go absolutely so thank you and right. till the next time god bless take care